In the office of a taxi company in a college town, Barbara Cortland is anxiously awaiting word of her brother Buddy, who has been kidnapped by a gambling ring. Meanwhile, Red Grange, a famous football star whom the gambling ring have disgraced and barred from the game, has rescued Buddy Cortland from his captors. Buddy has lost his memory as the result of a blow on the head and believes Red is his enemy. What's the matter with you? Independent taxi. Both cars completely wrecked. Well, how did it happen? You got grounds for damage suit? Well, it happened this way. I was going up to Vision Street when the car turns in on my left. Get up just a minute, will you? I'll show you how it happened. This chair is me, see? Well, the other car's coming in from this side. I have the right of way, and he whams right into me. Take a look at the car. Wait, I'll help you escape, but I, for the minute, don't stop to argue. Your life depends on speed. Well, it's a trick, I tell you. Sound the alarm. Quick. Listen, that car just left here and stop it. No matter what you have to do, stop it. So, you let him get away, did you? If he escaped, it'll go hard with you, Brady, understand? Oh, but you don't understand oh. how it happened. I don't understand. They said they were my friends. You, who are you? Don't you remember me, buddy? I'm trying to save his life. Yeah, certainly looks like it. Come along with us and tell it to the judge. I tell you, I'm this fellow's best friend. He's lost his memory. He's suffering from delusions. He's lying. He's not my friend. He wants to kill me. I tell you, he belongs in the psychopathic ward. If you don't believe me, just ask him who he is. You're making a serious charge, young man. Who are you? I'm Buddy. Buddy. I... I don't remember. They didn't tell me. I'd rather take a beating than to go back without him. We ain't got a chance now. I guess your story is okay, Grange. We'll take him to the psychopathic for observation. You better notify his family. He'll drop me off at the independent taxi office. I'll get in touch with his sister. Okay. car that Grange drove into the garage. How did he get it from Biff? And where is Biff? Oh, what difference does it make? What a prize bunch of saps I've got on my payroll. Don't you know Thompson has evidence right on him that was sent just for keeps? You need a report. You let him get away, didn't you? Oh, the cops got caught him. They sent him to the psychopathic. And you let him get away with that? Knowing they'll bring back his memory? Well, what could we do? If they couldn't do anything then, you'll do something now. But what? Get down there and get him. I don't care how, but get him. Take it. Welcome, taxi. It's Dick Thompson. Where is he? Where are you, Biff? What happened? I'm at the independent taxi garage. Tied up. I've been trying for two hours to get to this phone so I could use it. 
Take it easy. We'll have you out of there in a few minutes. You better. They're planning to strip me for info. And believe me, I ain't taking a rap for any of you first. We'll get you out of there, only don't spill anything. I want it to get down here in time. But if you don't... Do as I tell you. Sit tight and keep your mouth shut. Get down there, you two, and turn Thompson loose. What about getting caught? That can wait. Thompson's got a yellow one and tends to squeal. Yeah? Wait. What a break. This is our chance to get Grange out of the running for keeps. Put him behind bars till we're in the clear. How do you mean? Listen. Hey, listen, you fellas. We're going to get Biff. Do you get me? All right, get going. Everything's all right, but he's safe in the hands of the police. The huh? police? The police? They're holding him for observation. You're to notify your family physician. While you're phoning, I'll change out of these clothes. Oregon 6674. Burns playing for Baxter Tech in today's game? Yes, what's the matter? The b b best player on the t team. I, I think so, why? Let's see that. My gosh, that, that, that looks like money. It, it feels like money. It is money. Where'd you get it? In that chauffeur's cab. It may be all right, but it looks suspicious. Open it, go ahead, open it. You think we ought to? Well, think oh. what it may mean to you and Buddy and the team. Sure, go, go ahead, let's see what's in it. Burns is sold out. He's throwing today's game. Did you bring in the driver of that taxi I smashed? Did I bring... <laughs> did, did, did I ever for failure? Boy, I got him right there in the old stock room, waiting to be quizzed, to be quizzed, for you to talk to him. I, I, I told you I'd find him. You found him. Who gave you this note to deliver? Yeah, who, who gave you that no-no note to deliver? Oh, shut up, shut up! I've never seen it before. You can't make that stick. We found this in your uniform cap. And if you expect to get loose, you'll tell us who gave it to you. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna keep me here. The friends will be here any minute. Oh, well, they... Well, if they... Holy c c c c c c cow! Didn't I tell you my friends had come for me? Two, two mogul cabs have paying us a visit. Come on, boys. Have you fellas come here looking for trouble? Or... Mr. Grant, I've got to arrest you for holding a man here against his will. For holding a man here against... Ah, don't bother the lie, Grange. We've got the goods on you. Hey, no, you don't. Hey, take, take it easy, Red. You got a search warrant? Certainly. I guess I can't prevent your searching if you want to. But I'll tell you in advance that he's not... Uh, wait! Let go of me! Thank you! Please go for the gun.
Haven't seen a sight of him. That's strange where he could have gone to. Here he comes now. Close those gates. Is that the guy we're looking for? Yes. Get him. Yes. There's another passenger for the mogul cab, Jerry. <laughs> I'll, I'll put this one in the cab and, and start, to start the, the, the meter going. Fight, eh? Well, boys, uh, let that be a lesson to you. And don't fool around with this b -b 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 baby anymore, because I'm plenty to tough. Hey, there's another passenger for the mogul cab, Jerry. Well, we certainly did our st st stuff, didn't we? Now listen. note means it said many thanks but the attached driver didn't have any information I could use anyway <laughs> hey officer an old man brought him in here and he's gone what kind of a game is this anyway to follow that old fossil all over town and then he brings your man right here where he belongs guys, so as I won't be accused of detaining any of your men, they're in the cab, they're in the, they're there. Well, <laughs> so long, boys. Wars, eh? Well, get this. The next time you try it, I'll pinch the whole mob of you. Call the office. I got a lot of things to talk over with you two. A lot of things. Come on. But I've got to speak to Coach Bradley of the Baxter team. This is Red Grange talking. I found out today's game is going to be thrown. I'm sorry, Mr. Grange, but that coach has done that for the football field. Yeah, sir, you might catch him, but he sure drives a fast car. Thanks. The coach has gone, but I may be able to get to him before the game. Uh, I don't get your idea, Red. If Burns is taking the bribe, it gives your team a better chance to win, don't it? Football teams want to win their game. They don't want them thrown in their lap. That's not sport. Have you got a motorcycle I can borrow? Oh, sure. Two or three, Rick. Come on. Oh, gee, boss. We couldn't help it. Anyway, Biff is back and no harm has been done. 
Say, Grant just got the lowdown on Burns selling out and he's headed for the game to tip him off. Are you sure? Yes. I was listening in on that line that we tapped into the independent office and I heard Grant say... Oh, so no harm's been done, eh? We might just as well pack up and clear out. We're through. There's one chance to win. Grange is going by a motorcycle and he's just left. Get into a car, get on the road ahead of him and stop him. I don't care what you do, but stop him. Here he comes now. Here's where Mr. Gray gets out of our game for cheap. 